readers, our next book today is Whale Fall, Exploring an Ocean Floor Ecosystem, written by Siebert Honor, author Melissa Stewart, and illustrated by Rob Dunlavy. Whale Fall. Oops, sorry. When a whale dies, its massive body silently sinks down, down, through the inky darkness, finally coming to rest on the soft, silt, silty seafloor. For the whale, it's the end of a 70-year life. I don't know why it's doing this. Sorry, readers. But for a little-known community of deep-sea denizens, it's a new beginning. The whale fall is a bountiful gift that can sustain life for another 50 years. Hungry hagfish smell the whale from miles around and come swarm the scene. It may be their first meal in weeks. Sleeper sharks smell the whale too, but they swim slowly through the frigid water. When they arrive, they feast on skin and blubber. Eventually, other scavengers arrive too. Even after six months, Rough scale rat tails and snub nose eel pouts are still dining on bits of blubber, while grooved tanner crabs pick away at any leftovers they can find. Over the next year and a half, an army of tiny amphipods strips the whale's bones bare. As these mini munchers feed, they attract the attention of hungry deep sea octopuses. Meanwhile, organ hair crabs scarf up scraps that have fallen beneath the bones. Tiny hooded shrimp and pink sea pigs sift through the sediment, hunting for tasty tidbits. These small scavengers make a hearty meal for a blob sculpin. Even after the whale's bones are picked clean, the feast doesn't end. Clusters of zombie worms blanket the bones as their frilly plumes wave through the water, their roots ooze acids that break down the bones. Then tiny ocean opsporales bacteria, I know I didn't pronounce the end of that very well, bacteria living inside the worm's roots absorb fats and proteins that they and the worms need to survive. As squat lobsters dine on the zombie worms, brittle stars search the seafloor for morsels of meat. Sea cucumbers collect droplets of whale oil that have soaked into the sediment. After about two years, the zombie worms have trouble getting the nutrients they need to live and grow. As they die, bone 
eating delta pro pro T bacteria take their place. And year after year, decade after decade, which is a 10 years, decade is 10, so decade after decade, these tiny bone eaters tunnel through the whale skeleton. As they feed, they give off gases that many kinds of deep sea microbes use to make food of their own. Some deep sea microbes form thick, colorful mats that spread across the bones and cascade onto the seafloor. While snails and limpets graze along the edges, scale worms chew trails right down the middle. Other kinds of deep sea microbes seek shelter inside muscles the size of a fingernail, clams the size of a fist, or clusters of tube worms swaying in the current. To earn their keep, the tiny tenants make food for themselves and their host. So a tiny tenant is, you know, someone who's staying for a while. Eventually, every last trace of the mighty whale is gone. But for 50 years, the whale fall was a thriving oasis that offered hundreds of species, millions of creatures, a much needed source of food on the vast barren seafloor. And somewhere perhaps not so far away, the cycle is beginning again. More about whale falls. Each year, about 70,000 whales die of natural causes and sink to the seafloor. That might sound like a lot, but because the ocean is so huge, whale falls are usually spaced many miles apart. The low temperatures and high pressure of the deep sea make it possible for large whales to slowly decompose over many decades, supporting a rich assortment of life like you saw in the book. And this book describes the creatures that might feed in or on or around a 70,000 pound gray whale that has fallen to the depth of 5,000 feet in the East Pacific Ocean. Whale falls at different depths, depths or in other oceans will host a somewhat different cast of creatures. Scientists had no idea that whale fall communities existed until 1987 when they discovered one off the coast of California. Since then, they found about 25 more in oceans all over the world. And by studying these whale fall sites, researchers have identified more than 500 different species living on and around whale falls. Many of them are temporary visitors like those tenants, but at least 30 species haven't been seen in any other environment in the world. And we can always do more research about whale fall species or any of the species you saw in the story today. Happy reading.